Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 59 of Let's Platinum Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Alright, so immediately run over to around that corner and take that guy out. And he gives me a lump of grave wax, fantastic. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this lady. She says... Okay, so yeah, she's talking about the ones we've been taking out, they cast the enfeeblement status on you and uh, you lose all your youth, basically. Okay, Okay, yeah, so basically her father has been tasked with feeding a giant carp um, and she wants him to stop, but uh, we have to basically help with that. Alright, so if you enter the courtyard over there, like you're going to get absolutely wrecked. So let's heed her advice and try and stay behind these panels. Grab this bite down here. Go around. Now here, there's a there's one right there. There's a noble. And he's gonna see me, but we want to go left real quick. Take this one out. And then you want to try and time it so that you can get here quick. If there's something in the way, then they won't be able to. They won't be able to use that spell on you. Alright, yeah, so go for him, then try and take this enemy out. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. That worked out great. <laughs> okay, let's go down here and we find yellow gunpowder. Wow, four of them. It's pretty good. Pretty I might actually need those for uh upgrading. I don't know how many more we need to get everything, but yeah. It's good to grab those. Alright, for this, um, there's gonna be like, yeah, you can just, just barely have seen them there. A patrolling noble, um, as well as two Okami warriors. So I'm gonna actually try and, I don't know how I did that, but I'm gonna take that one out. Use the purple spark there. Try and prevent them from getting too close. Try this. These two are quite challenging to take out. Yes! I saw that out of the kind of the corner of my eye and I decided to press circle and it paid off. Nice. Pretty good. Alright, now. Apparently someone's seen me, but I don't know who. Let's go here and take out this one. 
And in this sort of mini palanquin, another lump of grave wax. So absolutely make sure you get that. Uh, I don't think there's any item up there. But let me have a quick look. Uh, no, no item. But this is essentially used as like to do sort of stealth death blows from above. So pretty good as well. Let's keep going around this way. If we head to this corner, we can grab this item here. Oh, good. Divine Confetti. We're going to need some more, of those, uh, some more of those soon. Okay, so now there's a, there's a Palace Noble. Hang on. Yeah, there's a Noble over there. And then there's like a pretty strong Warrior over there. So in order to avoid them for right now, because there's another area we have to go to, we're going to use Gatchins. And we're going to sort of go over here. Jump down on the left here. Dive. Go towards this side. Swim up. Climb out. Oops. Pick up treasure carp scale. Another one, and I think another one. Yep, and then we find a nice little red chest. Um, pretty important item here. Um, not mandatory, but it's good to get. Water of the palace. A cup filled with divine waters. A drink popular with nobles of the palace. When a wedding procession arrives at the Fountainhead Palace, this is the drink they are greeted with. The nectar of the palace nobles. Go ahead, drink to your heart's content. Alright, cool. That's pretty good. We're going to be using that at some point um, later on for, for something. <laughs> Alright. We've still got Gatchen, so quickly run over here. Get this guy. And then try and go around here. So, yeah, this enemy that we, we just passed up, we're going to fight him now. Um, they have lightning. Um, so just to go over like how lightning works, I feel like that might have been quite loud actually. <laughs> Sorry if it was. Um, just go over how lightning works. Uh, you got to perform the reversal. So you jump in the air, you hold L1 to guard. That sort of enables you to imbue your sword with lightning. And then you um, press R1 to release the lightning. However, if you're caught off guard and... Um, and you um, don't press L1. Sometimes it still will go on your sword to help you out, which is really nice. All right, so use Gatchins again. Get this guy out of the way. Run all the way over here. Looks like I missed something back there, but I'll get it in a sec. Oh, that was stupid. That was just a spirit emblem. Oh. Nice. Okay, there's a proper palace noble. Another lump of grave wax. Wow, this is going really well. <laughs> I'm glad I got those virtuous deed things when I did. Alright, this one's good. Oh. You see how this, this one on the right fell down? The reason is because um, it was it performed a jumping attack, and I'm pretty sure it also meant that that jumping attack was going to result in a lightning strike. But so far, that's what I've noticed. So I had to like farm in this area, and every time I knocked them flat flat on the ground, it was because they were about to try and perform the the lightning attack. So not super valuable information, but helpful nonetheless. Alright, let's go over here, grab this chest. Can't remember what's in this one. Oh yeah, Divine Grass. That's why, because it's so forgettable. <laughs> okay. I think I did actually use those in my first playthrough, but just to... Just as a convenience, rather than to try and like save myself from losing a boss fight or something. Okay, cool. That clears out everyone. Technically, there's still some more enemies left uh, up on the rooftops, but uh, I don't actually know if there's a way to like jump up there from inside here. I think we have to go from outside. But that's okay. All right, so the sculptor idol here. Let's use it. We've also got three skill points now, so let's see if uh, there's anything we can get. Uh, that's not worth it yet. That's not worth it. Oh yeah, that's right. We're still going for most virtuous deed because we still haven't got that. Okay, let's uh, let's rest. And now 
Oops, didn't mean to rest again. We're going to do a teensy bit of farming just so that we can get um, the remainder of the experience that we need. Uh, I can grab this here for some more divine confetti. Um, Alright, so you can also go up here. It's not super important, but uh, you can. So use captions. I'll just show you sort of what, what's around here. We'll do a quick, essentially, uh, like a quick once over on, on a farming route that you could do if you wanted. So you can do that, kill those two dudes. Or do that. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Then we go over here. Oh, it looks like I missed that item, that's okay. And then basically you're back here where we started, so I'll show you now sort of You can do this forwards and backwards. But you can see how quick like everything that we just did, I'm just basically gonna do it over again. Just quickly grab this. And you'll see just how much experience we gain in, in such a short period of time. Obviously we don't have to pick up any items now, so that helps as well. Oh wow, man. How did I... Like, I think I've got enough Grave Wax. I can't say for sure, but... I feel like with the amount that I've gotten on drops, it has to be the case. Like this. And the experience is really good too. One, two, three. Oh no, 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 no! I can't get away! No, nah, and now I'm dead. <laughs> okay, well, if this game has um, dynamic difficulty, then the chances that I'm going to get unseen aid here are going to be very, very low. Very, very, very low. That was weird. I, I thought um, I thought those patrol that patrol was heading around the other way. Oh, thank God I got it. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, that's fine then. In that case, that's good. All right. Let me um, I'm gonna quickly take out a few more. I'll show you now at least you know some of doing it in reverse. Generally, this guy will always start with a lightning attack, and I think he was going to do one. There we go. That was definitely going to be one. Uh, not only because he got knocked on the floor, but just because I know that stance. Cool. Go, 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 go. Spin. That's another way you can do it. It's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Probably kill this one and the other one and then I'll have the level. Or is this enough? Nope, not yet. Alright, brilliant. Let's get out of here. We. So what are we on? Okay. Jeez. Oh, jeez, it feels like I've been recording forever, <laughs> and I'm still only 14 minutes in. It's crazy. Alright, well that's fine. We can do a bit more things today. Alright, let's rest, so that we can remove the enemies. Acquire skills, get most virtuous deed. Okay, um, now the other thing is... Well, let me quickly go back to the dilapidated temple to see um, to see if I can actually learn anything I think I might be able to uh, yeah maybe because I've got a, a, quite a large amount of Sen and I've got good items the only thing I'm sort of missing is the fulminated mercury not too many of those uh, yet but we will start seeing them a lot more Hmm. 
<laughs> I don't know exactly what he's referring to there. Okay, um, what am I missing? Fulminator Mercury, Scrap Iron, <laughs> Lump of Fat Wax, Fulminator Mercury, and the word, the rest. Okay, well, what about this one? Damn, the Scrap Iron, man. How the hell did I miss out on so much Scrap Iron? Alright, let me think. Um, scrap Iron, Scrap Iron, Scrap Iron. Okay, I'm gonna go get some Scrap Iron. Like, I'm sure I'll get more as I go, but I kind of want to just get it out of the way now. So, Scrap Iron, um, if you have, uh, what is it? I think you need to have got the salt, like you find out what the soldiers want, the Ashina soldiers, and you tell Anayama, and then he gives you, he sells you Scrap Iron, like, infinitely at his shop. I think that's what it is. We'll find out here in a, in a sec anyway. Yeah, okay, we do have it infinitely, but I don't know what it was. I'll buy like 10. Maybe I should buy everything. <laughs> I know I needed... Let's buy another 10. That should be enough. Obviously I've used a tremendous amount of Sen there, but... That's okay. Alright, let's try one more time. See if we can upgrade anything. And then we will... Mm, I don't think I have time to do anything else necessarily. Uh, maybe there's one thing I can do. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can do it. We'll see if we have enough time. If it keeps loading that quick, we might have enough time. <laughs> It's too many visitors lately. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. So, we'll grab this. Now, what's next? So, this... I just need money. This, I just need money. These both need eight. So, I still need three scrap buy-ins. And I think that's it. Uh, wait, no, this needs 12, so I need like 15 scrap irons. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, I got the spiral spear ability, uh, or prosthetic tool. It's pretty cool. Uh, where is it? Here. So basically, it does that, which is really cool. I find it like somewhat useful. That old viewing stage. Okay, we don't have much time left, but let's try and quickly do this. So if we climb up here, quickly use Gatchens. And what we want to do is we want to take out all these enemies up here like we did before. One. Two. Alright, and if you go down here, you will see a mini boss. Let's go! Sakura Ball of the Palace. So, this is an interesting, it's one of the few enemies, if not the only enemy in the whole game, that um, doesn't die from having a stealth death blow on it. Staying like right here seems to do a pretty good job. <laughs> it's weird, like this, this one was actually, when I fought it the first time, it was actually pretty easy. When I fought it the second time, it absolutely destroyed me. Like, when I say the second time, like on my... I had two different practice playthroughs. Wow, it does a lot of damage, even if you block. I'm trying to use the purple beam spark, but it keeps running away. There we go. Kill it, kill it. I think you don't have to weaken it completely either, or you don't have to take out all of its health. 
that happened to me. Oh, maybe. Okay, now it's gone insane. Heal, heal. Yes. <laughs> All right, awesome. Yeah. And then you can finish it off like that. It's kind of creepy, actually. Its face like looks more like a like it's got skeleton. All right, so you get a prayer bead and you get beast's karma, a latent skill that increases the maximum number of spirit emblems that can be held. Spirit emblems are manifestations of regret. Those regretful of their vile actions are haunted by many spirit emblems. Perhaps this innocent beast was burdened with the karma of man. Inheriting the karma of those they've killed is also part of being shinobi. Or being a shinobi. I didn't read that properly. Um, Alright, pellet. And last few things quickly before we go. There are three items here. A bulging coin purse. Yashariku sugar. And an adamantite scrap. Cool. Alright, and that's it. Um, basically, if you head this way, it'll just take you to um, the sculptor idol that we were at. So let's do that, and we'll come back next time. We'll, we'll probably, I think we'll continue from here. Uh, we don't need to go back anymore because I've cleared out everything. But um, we're definitely going to come back here and do some farming later on. Alright, but for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 59 of Let's Platinum Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.